All right. This is from an official pleading from the Office of the Attorney General when he was asking the Supreme Court to uh, reconsider our subpoena. I want to read the first part of this. You were, and before I do that, I'm going to ask you a question you've already answered. Mm -hmm. You were a juror on this case. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to read the first half of this. A Texas jury convicts Roberson of beating his two-year-old daughter to death. Not Ma true. Is that what you convicted Robert of over 20 years ago? No, sir. How sure are you? 100% sure. Who would know better, you or somebody in the office of the Attorney General right now? Me, because I was in the jury. I was the jury, and I'm the one of them th that made that conviction of shaken baby syndrome. How does it make you feel seeing these statements by the government right now as somebody who lived through every day of the trial? It has pissed me off very much. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up now because I'm certain my colleagues have questions. And also, too, it has pissed me off about our prosecutors in Anderson County because I heard they testified that this is what it was. And personally, the prosecutors now was not the prosecutors back when the trial went on. Prosecutor back then was Doug Lowe and his assistants was Mark Calhoun. So how they even know what went on? And I think... Uh, I think there was at least widespread sentiment up here when the district attorney testified uh, that she did not come prepared, and nor did she demonstrate even a basic level of knowledge of, of the facts in this case. So I'd, I'd like to, to wrap up here and let folks... I have uh, to say, she, 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 she is not very well thought of by a lot of people in Palestine because she basically has no knowledge of it about her job most of the time. 